Today, we are going to take a look at how we can set up outbound EDI batching in OIC B2B. In EDI world, it is common to send batch transactions to trading partners. For example, batch all invoices and send them at the end of day or batch purchase orders and send them every 15 minutes. So to set this up, we will go into our B2B section and trading partners. Here I have my trading partner. And under transport and agreements, I have an outbound agreement set up. This outbound agreement is basically for my outbound purchase orders. Now here, when this is in an undeployed state, we have the option to add batch. Upon clicking this, we are presented with the option of batching based on schedule, and we can define the frequency for this batch to be executed. We can set up minutes. So for instance, if you want to send this purchase order out every 10 minutes. So what happens now is we collect all the purchase orders that are part of this agreement. And when the timer elapses, we will batch those purchase orders and send them out to the trading partner. You can also set it up for days, so every day, and you can set it up to a maximum of seven days. So once you do that, you can go ahead and click Add. And now the schedule has been set up. So you can go ahead and view the batch again to see what it is. You can delete the batch as well. You can also note that there's a badge which up appears, which is indicating that this particular agreement is batched. Now I have already set up a trading partner for batching and it's deployed as well. So let's go ahead and execute some transactions and see what happens. I have this integration which I'm going to execute. So that is executed. The status is pending batch. I'm going to go ahead and change this to two and click run. This also has completed. Now let's go into our observability section and B2B tracking. So here you can notice the two transactions that we have executed and both are in pending batching status. You will note that there are no wire messages that were sent, which is the typical behavior because these are held as part of the batching process. Now let's come back in a while to see what happened to these transactions. So now we see that these two transactions are in successful state from the previously pending batching state. If we go into the wire message section, we now see a new message that has been created. When we go into the correlations, we can see two business messages that are part of this. Upon clicking this, it leads us back to those two business messages. And each of these business messages are linked to that same wire message back. When we look at the payload on the wire message, we can now see there are two ST transactions, which are essentially our two business messages that we process. Here's the batch order number one and batch order number two. So this is our batching capability. Thank you for watching.